and welcome to another episode of FUBAR. Today, we are going to talk about data streaming. Data streaming provides us real-time insights when processing information as is ingested. In this video, we will explore what is data streaming, why it's important, and what kind of use cases it solves, and how it works and differentiates from event-driven architecture. So let's get started. So let's start from the beginning. To understand data streaming, we need to understand what we did in the past, the traditional ways to process data. In the past, data was stored in databases and processed in batches. So we have data and then every hour, every minute or every day, we were processing the data that was coming in. We store it, we process it, we store it, we process it. However, this method has a lot of limitations, especially when we are working with a lot of data meaning that now we need to process a lot of data every day to catch up. And when we have real-time scenarios, we need real-time data processing. In this paper called Perishable Insights, Mike Walteri mentioned how data loses its value as time passes. We need to take action fast in our data in minutes, seconds, or hours to get real-time effects, to do this time critical decisions. For example, if we want to make sure that a user is not churning, we need to take action now because if we process it in the night, by that time the user might not be using our application anymore and there is nothing that we can do. Data streaming, on the other hand, enables us to continue processing the inflow of data in real time as it arrives and we can do real-time alerts, analytics, machine learning processing. It's like an endless river of information that is constantly being analyzed and we can act upon it. So going back to the graph, why data streaming is so important? Primarily because we want to do real-time analytics. We want to process that data in real time. With traditional batch processing, you wait for hours, data lose its value, but now we want to have that information as it comes. This immediacy empowers business to make informed decisions faster, leading to enhanced customer experiences, better operational efficiency, and competitive edge in today's fast-paced world. Now that we understand the significance of data streaming, let's explore some of the compelling use cases and where it shines. Data streaming finds applications in various industries, for example, in the Internet of Things. Sensors continually stream data to the connected devices, allowing real-time monitoring and analysis of critical systems. Financial institutions benefit from data streaming to process high-frequency trading data swiftly and detect fraudulent activities in real-time. And social media platforms use data streaming to track trending topics, analyze sentiments, and provide personalized context to users. Let's take a closer look at how data streaming works and explore some popular data streaming platforms. At the core of data streaming, we have some streaming platforms like Apache Kafka, Apache Flink, and in the AWS world, AWS Kinesis. These platforms enable the ingestion, processing, and delivery of data in real time. Ultimately, the choice of data streaming platforms depends on your specific requirements, such as scalability, real-time processing capabilities, and integrations with other services. When using these platforms, the data is collected from various sources and sent to the streaming platform, where it's partitioned and distributed to different processing units. When the data is processed, the results can be stored, analyzed, or sent to other systems for further actions. In summary, data streaming platforms like AWS Kinesis enable business to harness the power of real-time data, allowing them to make more informed decisions, detect anomalies, and deliver better experiences to your customers. Now that we understand data streaming, you might be wondering how it differs from event-driven architectures. While both concepts deal with handled real-time data, they have distinct characteristics and use cases. Data streaming is all about continuous data flow, processing data as it arrives. It focuses on seamless real-time movement and processing of large volumes of data from various sources. Think it as a river of data, constantly flowing and being processed. 
In contrast, event-driven architectures are centered around the exchange of events between different components of a system. These events represent significant occurrence in the system, triggering specific actions when they happen. It's like a series of interconnected event triggers and listeners. The key distinction lies primarily on their focus. Data streaming is about continuous flow of data, while event-driven architectures focus on the meaningful events within a system. Data streaming is commonly used for scenarios where you need to process and analyze a vast amount of data in real time. It's ideal for uses like IoT, financial trading, and social media. On the other hand, event-driven architectures shines in situations where we want to trigger specific actions based on those events. These architectures are well-suited for implementing event-driven microservice, real-time notifications, and complex workflows. While data streaming and event-driven architectures have different core objectives, it's worth noting that they can complement each other in some scenarios. For instance, data streaming platforms can serve as a data backbone for event-driven systems, providing a continuous stream of data for processing an event generation. To conclude, data streaming has transformed the way we handle data, enabling us to harness the potential of real time, whether it's improving customer experiences, optimizing operations, or staying ahead of competition, data streaming is a game changer. This was the video for me today. In here, you can find the video on AWS Kinesis, where I get more in depth of that. And then here you can find a playlist about event-driven architectures if you're interested in learning more. And I see you in another episode of WUBAC.